yeah under my chin i i peel this like i she wants some ego ego i'm a ego ego she ego i'm ego i'm a she ego back to my channel thank you for tuning in to today's video so today's video is gonna be a little different and i'm kind of rushing for this intro because i'm late for my appointment but i'm getting a chemical peel so i decided i'm gonna like vlog slash like film i'm not sure if she's gonna let me like film inside but like i'm going to try and this is so weird because i'm doing this from my phone so i'm like do i look at myself do i look at the camera i don't really know but um i'm gonna keep y'all posted on the peel so I just wanted to show you guys what my face looks like before the peel. I'm kind of pointing out to my problem areas where I have hyperpigmentation. Hey y'all, so this is my face post peel. There's nothing to see, honestly speaking. I just wanted to come in and check up with you guys for the sake of keeping the video consistent. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the procedure because the lady said she preferred not to be recorded, which I already figured um, she would say no, but hey, it's worth a shot. There was a lady there who was shadowing her, which I feel like also like influenced her decision on me not being able to record because, you know, you have someone who's shadowing you, who is already hovering over your shoulder, watching your every move. You don't need a camera on the other side doing the same, you know? So I totally felt her. I was like, girl, if you're uncomfortable, like, just let me know. She, I feel like she kind of felt pressure when I asked her, like, by her body language and her face. I was like, you can just say no, okay? It's nothing in the world. <laughs> but yeah, she said no, so it's all good. If you want to see the process, definitely you can look it up. I had dermaplaning done, and then I also got a chemical peel specifically. I got the Jesner peel, but I'll talk more about that at the end of this video maybe not the end but like sometime within this video i'll talk specifically more about the kind of peel and i'll also put it in the description so yeah go ahead and stay tuned throughout the week because i will be you know vlogging showing y'all what my face looks like throughout the whole peeling process and i did do a little before video of my face so i'm just gonna do a little quick after even though there's probably not much of a difference besides it looking more smooth but it looks more smooth because i got dermaplaning done which is when they were they remove like the top layer of your skin using a medical grade scalpel so my face probably appears more smooth but let me just show y'all a little 360 before i leave the parking lot because i literally just been chilling in the parking lot <laughs> recording in my little corner but hey you know mind your business so yeah guys i'm really excited about this peel it's not my first peel i've gotten several peels before and i've also had derm planing done i believe this will be my second time i've gotten derm planing done but i'm excited to see these peel results because i cannot stand having like hyperpigmentation especially when it's like over something so dumb i tried a new product in my influencer box and girl la 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 it was a toner i used a toner before i applied my makeup before i was even done putting on my makeup i could see a whole bunch of tiny bumps on my face oh my gosh that product messed me up so i'm here i'm here trying to get my skin back together so follow me on this journey and make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video if you want to see my peel results good morning guys this is day one of the peel it is about like 7 38 7 40 i'm about to head out to work but i just wanted to show you guys what my face looks like so i went ahead and cleansed my face i kept the peel on overnight and i washed it this morning and just pat it dry this is what it looks like Nothing really has changed except I've noticed this little mark right here. I don't know what that's about, but it'll probably shut off throughout the process. Hey guys, so I'm back from work and this is what my face looks like. Nothing much has changed. It's just super greasy because I didn't like wipe my face not once today. You want to keep your face as dry as possible. So I am going to go ahead and cleanse my face with a gentle cleanser, but no moisturizers for the first one to three days. Unless your face is super irritated, then you can like spot treat with like Neosporin or hydrocortisone cream. But if not, you wanna leave your face as dry as possible for the first three days. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off, wash the grease off, and relax and eat my food. So I'll see y'all soon. So I actually ended up falling asleep after that and I woke up the next morning and this is what my face looks like. You can kind of see underneath my chin, around my mouth, and under my nose is starting to peel. So y'all, this is what my face is looking like. After I got out of the shower, um, my face was perfectly fine. Like I had it dry and everything and it was all good. When I was like looking in my mirror to see, you know, when I was reversing, I was like, whoa, oh my gosh. Like you'll see, it is not hard to miss. Okay, like it's definitely peeling. 
And this is the one time Corona coming in clutch because I will be wearing my mask. So no one's going to see it. So when I was at work, I actually did wash a little bit of that skin off my chin, which is why it's kind of big. But when I took off my mask and came back, this is what it looked like. This is what my face looks like after my nap and my face feels really stiff right now which is why i'm making those faces i washed my face after that and i went back to sleep since it was nighttime and as you can see my face is super dry so this is my face the next morning just showing y'all what it looks like straight out of bed and i'm going to wash it off after this this is what the skin looks like as i'm washing my face it's kind of nasty but i just wanted to show y'all <laughs> so this is what my face looks like after i'm done washing it as you can see we are drier than the sahara desert but luckily i got some vaseline in the car so I did moisturize and this is my face in the middle of the day, just kind of checking in because some parts were starting to peel. Okay, so I'm back home and this is what my face looks like. You can see it's peeling back now. Like over here, you can see the skin is peeling <laughs> all around here. It's peeling. Around my hairline is peeling. I'm about to go take a shower, so hopefully some of this dead skin falls right off. So I think by Sunday, my face should be done peeling completely. So y'all, this is me fresh out of the shower. I rubbed a lot of that dead skin off. Like I put the water on my face and really I did that. It was just rolling off and sloughing off and sloughing off. So as you can see, my face is looking a lot brighter because um, when the skin dries up, it does dry a little bit darker. But you can see my face. It's almost done peeling, but there's still like the perimeter of my face. Like you can see right here, all around like the sides of my face. They're all still peeling, but you know, for the most part, my face is almost done peeling, which is great, but I'm so glad to be home and back in my privacy so I can be ugly in peace. Like. I don't have to hide anything when I'm home, so cheers to that. This is my face later on that day. Uh, I can't remember if I took a nap or not, but this is in the evening time. You can see under my chin is peeling and around my hairline. Good morning, guys. So this is what my face looks like on the final day. I say it's the final day because honestly, I'm about to get in the shower and just exfoliate my face gently to help aid in the last bits of skin falling off. As you can see around my hairline, like it's barely any skin left. Under my chin is a little dry. And then my neck, but this will all come off once I shower, so... Yeah, I would say this peel is essentially done. I'm so excited, so ready to be able to do whatever I want to my face, you know. It feels kind of restricting when you're on this whole peel process, but it's worth it in the end. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. These are my results a few days after the peel. My skin is nice and moisturized. It is not perfect. We still have a little bit of hyperpigmentation, but it feels a lot better than it was when I was breaking out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below other video suggestions. And until then, I will see y'all in my next video.